I'll show you how to um, enable inline editing means. So when you come here, I have it should be editable. Right now they are not editable. So you can edit only if you view uh, edit it when you click the name. So uh, drop down if you edit it here. So first of all, you you have to go to the user interface. Uh, let me start over you go to set up here upper right hand corner so you type user interface at the very bottom on the translation workbench you can so you have to click en uh, enable inline editing here right here and then enable enhance list these two should be um, checked by default they are checked so we go back here but still i don't see it i it, they are not editable why because i have multiple record types they are editable if the list you has only one record type if you go to um, list view filters you click a add filter Go to record type. I want to select large uh, books. It has a two record types, small and large. Okay, now when you come here, you can see it is editable. It is one zero zero one is ISP, and now I'm going to change five one six eight. So after that, you. Uh, see the cancel and save button at the bottom here you click here it is save here that's how you um, enable the inline editing most people don't know is a list view should have only one record type um, otherwise uh, the fields are not editable even you can hear uh, edit the book name it's a hyperlink book uh, two so you can see you can go there um, yeah this is how you enable inline editing here in Salesforce good luck